the next video so today we'll be talking about how to generate a pdf uh, with react native's new architecture uh, using turbo modules so first of all create a new react native project next what you have to do is uh, go to the documentation and we have to first enable the new architecture so for android just search for new arc enabled so we'll search for new arc enabled to go to gradle dot properties and make this as true next for ios uh, you have to cd to your ios directory and run this command so after running this command you might face two issues uh, first is this so if you face something like this you can just run uh, this command inside the root of your react native project uh, otherwise you can also face an issue on this so i already have a video on my channel explaining in depth how to resolve this issue but you can try something like this running this or try looking at the other answer on how to resolve the issue but once you are able to run this command successfully just run yarn ios or yarn android and in the metro bundler you should see fabric colon true which means the new architecture has been enabled next we will go to turbo native modules so first we have to create this folder so i have uh, in the documentation it specifies that create this folder outside the project but do not create it outside but create it inside so i have created this something like this rtn pdf generation and then create android ios and js folder and inside js you have to create this file native pdf generation so that is what it mentions uh, this and i have copy pasted everything from documentation only thing is change is this uh, this file method name because we want to download a pdf and we will get a promise uh, from native side whether the download was successful or not and this name has been changed uh, according to our folder name next you have to create a package.json file which is a sibling to your js folder and not inside your js folder so i have created this package.json and copied everything from the documentation only thing change is this name this name over here the pod spec name as well as uh, this name and this package name next we have to create a, a pod spec file for ios so depending on what you have named over here create a same file over here and again copied everything from documentation only thing change is this name next uh, you have to in the android folder you have to create a build.gradle file and you have to create this folder structure so go to your android create a build.gradle file again i have copied everything from documentation i have just added this kotlin plugin uh, because i want to use kotlin and not uh, java also we would require this lifecycle uh, because i want to use coroutines inside my app uh, and we require this window uh, dependency uh, to measure the width and height of uh, your particular uh, phone or particular device next you have to create src main uh, also make sure you change this namespace uh, rtn pdf generation then create folder called src main java com rtn pdf generation and for now you just create this file pdf generation package dot kt and instead of uh, so you can copy paste everything from over here but for now you just have to write this return null in both the method because you have not done a code generation yet so for now just return null from both of the method so we are already done with this this next we have to do code generation so here you can see they have used double dot but we will use single dot because uh, we only have uh, because our folder is already inside the uh, project so what i will do is i will go to app.tsx i will show you the exact command so you have to run this command so just open your terminal in the root of your project run this command next what you have to do is once you run this command uh, you have to do cd dot dot and then uh, run this command so again you can find this command over here but you have to make some some changes so here it should be your app uh, project name or folder name whatever is the root of your project so mine is my app this should be the uh, root of your uh, project project name or folder name again here project name followed by the folder name which you have created so this folder name uh, in the documentation you can see that they have not used the project name over here because uh, this uh, folder is outside the project in the documentation but we have created it inside that's why we need the project name over here next you will see this generated folder being created so you will see this generated folder 
which uh, has the code gen for iOS next we have to create this header file so I will just go to uh, so I have not created it inside the iOS folder of RTN PDF generation because I want to use Swift so what you have to do is you have to open the main iOS folder inside Xcode next you have to uh, write this file RTN PDF generation dot H again I have copy pasted it from the documentation only thing changes this file name has been changed accordingly okay next I have created this object to C++ file so while creating a file from Xcode it will only create an object to C file but later on once this file has been created you have to change the extension to dot mm please make sure you do this otherwise you will face issues and uh, I have imported this header file next uh, first create an uh, swift file as well so I have created this swift file pdf generation dot swift and as soon as you create a swift file from xcode it will ask do you want to create a bridging header just click on yes and it automatically creates this bridging header file now depending on what your bridging header is the so my is my app dash bridging dash header so my app sh you should copy the first part of your bridging header file name over here dash swift dot h so this way you your swift file can be imported in the objective c plus plus file and rest of the part i have copied it from documentation so only the file name has been changed so this has been changed here we are creating the uh, object of our swift file so we are initializing the swift file next i have copied this from documentation only thing that has been changed is this file name and this is the, uh, the method which we have uh, defined in our interface right so i have uh, uh, you know overridden this method or, or we need to override this method because this is what we have defined in the interface and here we are calling the download PDF from uh, the Swift file, which returns us an N string. So we'll go to PDF generation dot Swift, and here you can see you have to first write this as Objective C members because otherwise you won't be able to access this Swift file, and you have to import React and UI Kit because UI Kit is required for this UI Activity View View Controller, and React is required for creating this RCT Presented View Controller. So uh, this again is about so we have uh, created another swift file swift file called pdf creator where we are pass where you have to pass what actually this pdf file will contain so just for simplicity i have to passing a string but you can pass an image as well but you have to make so those changes accordingly in your pdf creator so i have created an object of this pdf creator file and again this is like boilerplate code uh, so once we get the data of that PDF file, we are creating a temporary folder and saving that file in a temporary uh, file. So this is the file name. You can change it accordingly to your convenience. Then we are writing it to that temporary file. Once that is been written, we are uh, what we are doing is that we are trying to save it. Uh, we are presenting the model uh, which allows the user to save it to his uh, files uh, app. Okay, and then we are sending the return success, which will be sent it to Objective C++ and then Objective C++ will send it back to React Native. And coming back to PDF Creator.Swift, first you have to import UI Kit. Uh, this uh, I have copied it uh, from, a, from a website called Ray Vendor Lake. So they had this free tutorial from that I have copied. So here you can see I am passing the text and this you can change it according to your creator name author name whatever you want and this is like boilerplate code here you can change uh, the dimensions of your page if you want to and here i have defined what sh should be the size of our text and here i am drawing the text over the pdf but if you want an image as well i have so this is like uh, just for your understanding like if you want to display an image over the pdf or draw the image over pdf you can use something like this and just call this method and just pass where exactly you want to so here the text would be drawn at 0 0 coordinates of x and y but if you want at the uh, center you have to calculate those dimensions okay so this is just like an helper method in case you are interested to add image to your pdf otherwise you don't need to write this method so this is for iOS. Uh, now coming back to Android, first you have to run this again, sing a single dot, not double dot. So we already have run this, but if you want, you can run this code again. 
then you have to cd to your android directory in terminal and then run this command so it will generate code generation for android as well and you can see that inside node modules rtn uh, my pdf generation okay next what you have to do is uh, go to your android folder src go to pdf generation package dot kt now instead of returning null you can write this code and you have to create one more file called pdf generation module dot kt and here like i have copy pasted this code from bunch of stack overflow and medium articles so what basically we are trying to do is that first we are getting a download uh, directory and this is the life cycle ho, uh, life cycle uh, for accessing for launching a coroutine so here you can see i'm launching that coroutine then this is the promise uh, variable which i have created and this is like an overridden method which you have to write and this is the code which uh, uh, generates a pdf for you uh, and after that it copies that file to your downloads section so you can just uh, change this according to whatever so here you can see i'm uh, writing some hello text to the pdf right but instead of canvas dot draw text you can also use canvas draw dot draw bitmap so if you want an image inside your pdf you can use that method as well uh, it is similar you just need a bitmap object and here you can pass the width and height and the paint and uh, as well as uh, here you can see we are using that uh, window dependency which we have added so here I am calculating the width and height of our device and accordingly you can uh, you know specify where exactly you want uh, this text inside of your PDF. So I want it at the center that's why I use this but you can use 0 0 if you want at the x n x 0 coordinate and y 0 coordinate. Okay, Again this is like normal code uh, the file name is mypdf.pdf and the extension is pdf so coming back to copy file to downloads so there are two ways so if you are using android q and above you have to follow this method to save a file to a download directory but if you are using q or less then you have to uh, use this code now uh, if you are using using android q or below then you have to write uh, uh, write permission as well to your android manifest but mine is android running on the latest version of android which is android 13 android t that's why i have not added this permission but if you are using android q and below you have to go to android app then src main android manifest.xml and here you have to write uh, uses permission write external storage as well and i already have a video on my channel on how to access uh, permissions in react native uh, with the with, in react native new architecture with turbo model so you have to write that code as well before trying to access uh this uh, pdf before trying to access this method but if you are running android q and above you don't have to worry about the permission because we don't require that permission you can directly write this code so this saves your file to your download now uh, to use it you have to go to app.tsx you can just import it something like this and you can create i have created a button and i am just calling this download pdf button and just waiting for it okay so I will uh, show you a video as well on how it looks like. So this is for Android. So here you can see I don't have anything in the file manager in downloads. So I will just switch back to the app. I will click on generate PDF. And in the terminal uh, metro bundler you will see uh, you know success message. And here you can see uh, that the PDF has been generated and the hello world text is at the center. So this is for Android and for ios what you have to do is so again same generate pdf button and i will click on it and it uh, for ios it requires the user to explicitly click on save to file so if you remember we are first storing it in the temporary storage then moving the file to uh, real uh, storage for which the user have to click on save to files like we can't do that uh, as far as i know we can't app developers can't do that it requires an user's explicit uh, clicking on save to files okay so I will, I will click on save to files it will present a pop-up okay i already had a file so I, it will replace the existing file now if i go to the file explorer you can see this is my pdf file and um, at the top you can see the hello world uh, like this one of one is this page number which has been displayed 
but for ios we were displaying at uh, zero and y coordinate that's why it is displaying at over at the top so yeah i think that should be it where did, let me check if i missed any so one thing which i had noticed is that i think which my which you might face an issue for so i already have this so suppose you downloaded the file for the first time on android my pdf dot pdf now if you again click the button uh, what it does is that so it will add a so suppose uh, this is your file right i will tell you now the second time you try to download the same file with the same name it will add something like this so it does not replace the existing file it just creates a new file so now this file becomes unusable because you have this one at the extension level right the extension is not correct it should be only dot pd so if you are facing this issue a quick way to resolve this is just add some random number over here you can use the mat dot random something just make sure this name is unique if you are trying to download that pdf again and again otherwise you will have to write some kind of a logic where you have to first find whether there is this file inside the download directory or not if yes delete that file and then create this new file so yeah just be careful about that uh, thank you for watching bye